Look at example number three. Number three looks really easy. It's really not that difficult. I'm going to add my ones and everything. Uh, I have no zero exponent terms, so I'm not going to do anything with those. I am going to move this x to the fourth, or x to the negative fourth. I'm going to put it up top. 1x to the first times x to the fourth. I just kind of flip the order over. So now that I, I can combine these two things together, uh, x to the first uh, times x to the fourth is 1 plus 4, so x to the fifth power, and the y is y to the fourth. I can't do anything if they have different letters, so I'm done. x to the fifth over y to the fourth. It's really a simple problem. And the last one. The last one's a beast. Or it looks like it is. It's really not that difficult. Uh, here's my... I need to add a 1 to this one. A 0 exponent term I'm going to eliminate completely. Here's where I need to add a 1. Now I'm going to start flipping things around to make it look nicer. This x to the negative 1, I'm going to move to the bottom. So I'm going to make a note to myself to move that down. These two both move up. So I'm going to rewrite it. Anything that I move up or down, I'm going to put like at the end. It makes it easier to see what I'm doing. So two y's left. This one eliminates itself because I'm going to put it down here. So it becomes y to the fir x to the first power. Uh, the two stays, but these are going to move up. So I'm going to do times x to the positive two, y to the positive four. If you move them before you start flipping around with the numbers, it might make your life better. I eliminated that 4. I should not have. I apologize. So this still becomes 3y to the first, x to the third, times 4. And you might want to put the times x to the first there. doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do with it. And this is 2y to the first power. Now I combine things on the, in the numerator. Uh, the 2 times 1 gives me 2. I've got a y to the first and a y to the fourth, that would be 1 plus 4 is 5, so y to the fifth, and my x squared. On the bottom, I've got 3 times 4, which is 12. I have an x to the third and an x to the first, which is 3 plus 1 is 4. And I've just got that y to the first power. Now all I have to do is simplify things out, doing the division or whatever. Uh, 2 over 12, if I put it in as a fraction, will give me 1 over 6. Then I start looking, compare x's together. x to the 4th is a bigger one, so I'm going to circle it. 4 minus 2 is 2, so I get x to the second power. Once I do anything with them, I'm just going to mark them out. Uh, in here, y to the 5th is on the top. y to the 1st is on the bottom. 5 is bigger than 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. So y to the 4th power. And if you want to eliminate that 1, you can do y to the 4th over 6x to the 2nd power. It seems a little bit difficult. It's absolutely not that difficult, actually. The big thing that you need to worry about here is just making sure that you add your 1 so you can see them, eliminate any terms with 0 exponent, and then move things around before you start multiplying them together. I had a negative 2 and a negative 4 on the bottom. I went ahead and moved them up top for this step. I had an x to the negative 1, so I just moved it down. It makes, In my mind, it makes it easier. I guess you could combine them all on the top and see if you get a negative exponent and then flip it in the last step. That's totally appropriate, too. I just don't like to do it that way. I like to move things and make everything positive. It makes it easier to see for later. But choose your own adventure on how you do it. That's the way that I like to do it, and you're allowed to be different. So good luck.